What is up, JL Life? Model here. So today's video is going to be starting off a new segment that I want to do. Not too sure what we're going to call it. I'm not even too sure how a good way to describe it. But I'll do my best. So this segment, I don't know, Mo's Garage, Mo Time, Play on Tool Time. I, I, I'm open for suggestions. But so anyways, what this video is going to be about is garage. Now, this is going to entail, you know, tools, storage, lighting, workspace. It's going to be going over the importance of some tool, the necessity of other tools, or just the non-necessity. Tool reviews and how to use certain other tools, because they don't always come with instructions, and they can be confusing for someone who doesn't know. And just... Overall, I'm not expecting these to blow up with views, but more so to serve as an excellent foundation to anyone trying to get into doing your own you know, mechanical work on your vehicle. Some people will sit there and tell you, if you don't know what you're doing under the Jeep, you have no business being under there. I 100% disagree. How else are you going to can learn if you ain't doing it and by no means are any of these videos going to make you an expert but it's going to provide you with knowledge and just make you a better mechanic i'm not as professional nor am i given any certifications to do these videos so for this first one i kind of just want to show you guys my garage setup i've been doing a lot of reorganizing my space and you know i thought this is just a really excellent opportunity to start now rather than waiting for everything to get built up and how often these videos are going to be they come when they come but let me give you a tour 50 percent of the space i've been do, i've been doing a lot of cleaning all right so 50 percent of the space is actually going to be the j10 I really need to get this thing squared away i got the axle i got the parts for the axle granted i still need the brakes for the rear end i need to get this thing moving it again what am i holding up on let me show you so I have the welder to get every all the work done. However, I need to get a 220 volt outlet put in so I can do the critical welding to the J10. I don't want to use the 110 plug as at least not for something as major as the axle. One of the things I've recently upgraded was um, um, tool storage. My, my garage is just, it looks a lot better, but it's just really cluttered. Uh, US General, I really like these. Uh, they open really smooth they don't slam when you when you go to close them i eventually want to get the top one my workbench is actually a dresser i had since i was about six this thing's been with me through my entire life it's a lot of the drawers aren't really closing too well it's about time to get rid of this as a functional tool bench it just ain't cutting it anymore of course my top of my tool bench is just a mess you know i got some special tools for doing your own alignments uh, a grinder a bunch of just odds and ends my welding helmets board games got a freezer chest here's one of the original toolboxes i had uh, same brand as the general u.s general However, this one is probably about 10 years old. Harbor Freight has really come a long way as far as quality with their parts. And I ain't going to lie to you. Most of my tools are from Harbor Freight. Anyways, you can't find this anymore. It's been discontinued. You know, it's it's a good toolbox. It's sturdy. It holds everything it needs. However, you know, it's, it's definitely not as nice as that one. But, of course, it is bigger. I got two storage cabinets. Uh, one is kids non-perishable lunch foods this one over here i do use for my my cans my oil and beer candy sodas back that way is a shelving that's just full of a lot of specialty tools arts and crafts stuff since before the jeeps and it's that needs to be cleaned up underneath the j10 is also storage that's there to catch oil when it was leaking oil i got my dana 60 behind that what i want to get swapped out today is this guy this is an eyesore it's falling apart i got a bunch of junk in there i don't even use so we're going to be working on getting that replaced today and if your feelings get hurt for people who shop at Harbor Freight, well, this ain't going to be for you.
Now, I'm not saying Harbor Freight is perfect for everything, but for the home hobbyist, it's an excellent place to start and it can save you an absolute <laughs> ton of money. And what's awesome about Harbor Freight, all their hand tools have lifetime warranties. You can buy extended warranties if that's your thing. There's Harbor Freight haters out there, which is fine. I've had Harbor Freight tools fell on me in the past. It's not that big of a deal. But if you want to have yourself, you know, a complete hobbyist shop, you know, it's it's either shopping budget-friendly items, Harbor Freight, then they seem to be trying to push past that. Or you're going to be paying out the nose for better, better quality Gucci brands like Snap-on, Matco, all those ones, but... One of the things I always look forward to and I keep in my garage when every new one comes in the month is the Harbor Freight coupon catalog. It can save you some decent amount of money. Uh, another thing we're going to be getting today is going to be this guy. A port band saw. I've, I've actually heard really good reviews about this one. We're going to go give it a shot. And I'm sorry, I forgot to talk about one more thing. You got to have good lighting in a garage, you know. I got a bunch of these fluorescent hanging lights. Uh, here's another one. Granted, I really need to do a better job with the wire running. I, just, I yeah, they're just really sloppy, but I kind of have them daisy chained together. So because I have limited space along this wall, I should probably measure that. three inches try to keep it around there but anyways let's jump in the jeep head to harbor freight and find a new tool bench all right we're going to be taking heathen because i got this in the way though this is easy to take down i got subs bolted to it and it's more work than i want to do so everything folded back should be plenty of space right get to drive the heathen let's go Problem solving. Ready? Two, three. All right, coupons are being held down by the port band saw. Got my new workbench in the back. Let's get home and get this squared away. made it home <laughs> didn't lose anything uh, misty not having mirrors <laughs> it's i don't like it we need to we need to get that squared away i need my mirrors oh my gosh i can't see anything is the other side in i have no idea I So before I get started with any of this, I'm, I'm real just real quick. You get four casters with it. You got fixed ones. You have rotating ones. Now, make sure both of the rotating ones are on one side. Your fixed ones go on the other. And the reason they do that, it just makes it easier to steer. done with this guy uh, there the other one had roars for everything it cost like 60 bucks more I wasn't really feeling it of course a bigger drawer has a wood 
woodworking area, the lock switch I'm not really concerned about. But anyways, I'm gonna get this moved out of the way. I'm gonna get this moved out of the way and start swapping things over to make it look nice. I'm not gonna lie, low key, I'm a little sad to be finally getting rid of this. It's just been with me for most of my life. But alas, it's time to upgrade. As we go through all this, just know I've been working on getting all these tools over the span since I was 18. I just, I've spent a lot of time just collecting, which is why I have a lot of these. As I collected tools, I was never really thinking about storage too much, which is why the garage is just a freaking mess. But just remember, it takes time. And there's a couple other little things I want to show you in the garage before we wrap this video up. One of them is going to be my music setup, and it's difficult listening to music because I record a lot of the stuff I've been doing on YouTube, and of course, YouTube doesn't allow you to use copyrighted music. It just makes things hard, but computer, play Tool Radio. The station Tool on Amazon Music. I just got one of those Echo Dots hooked up to a soundbar. The other important tool every garage should have is, of course, my air compressor. And I got my air hose reel, which just makes life so much freaking easier. One of the things I'm going to need to do is get my vise unhooked. Back when I put this in a long time ago, I just looked for uh, three lag bolts that I had laying around. And I just zipped them in with an impact. Well, that one wasn't the same size and my dumbass didn't pay closer attention. So that's gonna be fun getting out. I think I figured it out. So I'll just rotate the whole vise. Oh, it was. There we go. Backed it up just enough. I should be able to get a wrench on that. It works. Improvise. Yeah, I must have been drunk when I did that. Don't act like you better than me. Yeah, neighbor's power washing his car again. He always does this when I'm filming. But anyways, I'm gonna get this all loaded up with tools and whatnot, and I'll get back to you when we're there so you guys don't have to listen to the, the insufferable noise of a power washer when I'm trying to talk. So got that all squared away. Looks good. Nothing too fancy. Granted, I still have a lot of organization I need to do. Just got some odd and ends in the top. And, you know, again, odd and in tools. My specialty tools on this side for vehicles. And of course, you know, what's the plan is, is to get these all squared away with my automotive section. The plan is to get that one all squared away with my more so carpentry tools. But it feels much nicer now. Got my, my foldable portable table stowed away. And I just need somewhere I can set things down and not be crunched and because I have all those little knickknacks up there it's kind of tight right there for right now I eventually want to get a different work bench a wooden work bench to put right there to work on top of uh, all these drawers are now empty tools have been relocated uh, this is just temporary you guys want to want to take a gander mm. I need to get blades for it still 
But I hope you guys are excited as I am for this new segment. I don't really have a schedule planned for it. It'll just kind of be as they come out. I just had an idea of what we should call it. Fools with tools. What do you guys think? If you guys have suggestions, I'm still open to them. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. If there's anything you guys would like me to talk about in this segment, let me know. Like I said, this is going to be you know, tool reviews, how to use tools, how I organize my garage, how I light my garage, how I work, how I set up my workspace. Anyone can do it. You just need the right tools and the knowledge to do so. I'm thinking maybe like the first official one should be more along the lines of getting started. Give me your recommendations. I would appreciate it. I just want it to kind of branch out more than just Jeep, 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 Jeep content and make things more I don't want to say random because it's not going to be random as much as variety in our channel so things just don't get stale for anyone. And if you guys have been following the channel for any amount of time, making some significant gains in this garage as far as it looking clean. It's your workspace. You want it to be clean, well put together. That's what we're working on. But guys, remember to like Comment, subscribe, and share, and stay tuned for the next one. Y'all, keep it easy.